and welcome to another writerly witterings today I'm going to just apologize for the fact I'm not standing up I managed to fall over in the mud um, four days before Christmas and so this leg is constantly being elevated to try to get the swelling down I've managed to sprain the ankle and the knee in one rather superb mud bath that I had up on the mine while walking the dogs I am Michael Jex author of the Vintner series, the Templar series, the Scavenger series and now the Assassin series as well and there's going to be a Crusade series starting next year so I've been kept busy and I thought it'd be useful to give a quick run through of the important books of the year and one book that's been very important because it's just come out in paperback is my Blood on the Sand, the second book in the Vintner series another book you won't have heard of is um, an anthology of short stories uh, all to do with Edgar Allan Poe and there's an excellent story in there called The Deve Lane by some bloke called Jex so that's worthwhile buying too but I thought um, this year I've got with uh, April there's Rebellion's Messenger comes out from Seven House then in May I think there's Blood of the Innocents which is the final part of the Vinton trilogy and then I've got a short story, well, I've collaborated with my friends in the Detection Club and brought out a book, uh, The Sinking Admiral, which is coming out with Harper Collins in June, July. So we've got a busy year ahead of us. And I thought it'd be quite fun to look at some of my favourite books because right now, books are all that uh, I'm thinking about. I've got one book that I'm finishing up right now and then I've got two copy edits coming back in the next two weeks. And then I've got to crack on with the next book I've got to write. I'm busy. So books, what do I actually read? Anything by P.G. Woodhouse, anything by Terry Pratchett. I mean, with P.G. Woodhouse, ideally it's going to be one of the Blandings Castle books or one of the books with Galahad in it or the Drones Club books. There's so many of them. With Terry Pratchett, any of his books are superb, but I personally adore Good Omens. And George MacDonald Fraser has always been a favourite author of mine. Um, I love all of his Flashman series. Um, and I use Quartered Safe out here as essential research for a lot of my other books. But there's a lot of other books I do like. This last year, 2015, has been a particularly good year. Um, one book, Manda Scott's Into the Fire, is a fantastic read. Historical, superb historical crime uh, set around Joan of Arc, which is tied in with modern day crime and an arsonist in Paris. Uh, sorry, New Orleans, in Old Orleans, not New Orleans, Orléans. Fantastic, fantastic book. I can't recommend that one highly enough. Likewise, Tom Harper brought out this, Black River, which is a fantastic atmospheric book all about um, a group going up the Amazon. You really do get to feel that you know the people, but you get to f the atmosphere superbly in this. It's a brilliant thriller. I had to give an interview with Simon Scarrow at the um, Plymouth Book Festival, International Book Festival. And this is one of the books that I read up beforehand, Hearts of Stone. It's a superb book set during the Second World War in Greece. And it's basically um, an interplay between some German people who were there before the war and how they then get involved in the war over the Greek islands very very good book um, really captivating excellent story those are my three favorites of the year and then i thought i ought to talk a little bit about other authors i like and other other books this is one most people will not have heard of pick any title by russell james russell's an old friend of mine but this i think is by far and away his best book because it is incredibly witty very very funny it's one of those books that makes you laugh out loud regularly another one that makes me laugh out loud whenever I read it it's pretty much anything by Tom Sharp but Riotous Assembly was the first of his very cynical sarcastic digs at the South African uh, apartheid period An excellent book do be aware it's not the um, most refined language. Uh, some of his language leaves a little bit to be desired. Another one talking about humorous books. 
a good friend of mine, Ruth Dudley Edwards. Um, I apologise for the title of this one to all my American readers. Murdering Americans is not uh, something that she advocates, but she does like um, involving Americans in some of her books. She is... The, well, she's invented a fantastic character, a Baroness Jack Troutbeck, who is not a bloke, it's a lady. Um, but with Troutbeck, Ruth has managed to explore almost every hypocrisy and difficulty that there is in the modern modern society. Brilliant books. If you get hold of any of Ruth Dudley Edwards' books, if they involve uh, Baroness Troutbeck, get them. They're worth it. This one's a little bit more sad. I used to know Julian Rathbone. Um, he was an absolute gentleman, a delightful guy. He died some years ago now. But if you haven't read The Last English King, it's, I'd say, probably one of his best books. I really like it. It is cracking good story. Um, he doesn't mess about with the history. Read it, see what you think. I, I just love Basil's books. Another writer I absolutely adore, and it won't surprise many of you, I'm a crime reader. Michael Connolly is one of the best crime writers, I think, in any country on the planet. Um, Lincoln Lawyer, a lot of people have seen the film. I really like the book rather better. I think it explores the characters um, in a little bit more detail. The book I first read of his actually was Angel's Flight, which I felt, while sitting back reading it, it almost felt as though I was watching a film playing a showreel in front of me. Brilliant book. He's so um, descriptive in the way that he puts things down. Another one of my favourite authors. Can't go wrong with E.F. Benson. I love Map and Lucia. These books are just hilariously funny. Superbly well-crafted stories. Brilliantly well-written. But let's move on to something slightly more different. This one may surprise you. I have been reading Arthur C. Clarke and Asimov since I was a very early teenager. This I didn't get hold of till I was in my 20s, but as soon as I picked up Dune, I just could not put the book down. It cost me a number of hours over the evenings. I think that it's stunning the way that he has created several different societies. He's created an entire planet, but other planets and other societies as well in a superb mix he really has it is a great political story it's a great crime thriller it's a superb um, depiction of the way that different tribes different natives can form up using their strengths using their knowledge of the land to defeat attackers and then it goes on to the sort of messianic state, which is a little bit odd at the end of the book, but it's still a superb, superb story. Really worth reading if you haven't read it. Dune by Frank Herbert. Then there is a book you almost certainly won't have heard of. John Harris, Light Cavalry Action. For my money, this is the very best courtroom drama ever written. It's a crime book, um, but it is a courtroom drama mainly, and it puts a different spin on the very beginning of the Second World War when the British first started going to war and who would be put in charge of the British Expeditionary Force and how to dissect that character's um, strengths and weaknesses. Really superb book. This is another one from last year which I was really taken by. It's written by Ariana Franklin and Samantha Norman Samantha Norman actually finished it up because Ariana died sadly before the book was published and so I think Samantha was largely responsible for the story. She had the main plot outline. Um, Winter Siege. You may not like it. It's not a straight historical book. I loved it. I couldn't put the book down. It's one of those books I took out with me every day when I was walking the dogs before I did this to my ankle. Excellent book. Some of you will have seen the film again. Neil Gaiman... I hugely admire. Um, I first heard of him through Terry Pratchett because of Good Omens. This book, Stardust, is not quite like the film. The film has been toned down somewhat and exploded in other places. But the book is still really good, interesting, perceptive 
magical little story. I can thoroughly recommend that. Uh, if you've got any young adults, good for them too. All right, coming back to older books. The last four now. I've done a really good rattle through all these books. Uh, if you haven't heard of H.H. Munro, Saki, you must read it. This is not uh, a lengthy novel. This is a whole bunch of short stories that Saki used to write at the same time as um, Conan Doyle was writing Sherlock Holmes stories for the different magazines. Saki was as well, but they're darker. Um, sometimes they involve magic, sometimes it's just uh, perceptions of different humans and society at the time. Quite dark, very, very interesting. Some of them laugh out loud, hilarious. Then one of the books, this is probably the book I've read most often in my life. I just love it. It, the Count of Monte Cristo by Dumas. It's, um, it is long. There are some stages in it which he easily could have left out, but he was paid by the week for writing, and he would produce books uh, with a chapter a week, and he was paid by the chapter, I believe. So he made himself a lot of money. He lost it all, but he made an awful lot of money. This book, though, I think is probably his best. I think it is not taut and tight, but it is an excellent story, um, really well put together and it shows the depths to which somebody would go to get revenge when they've been shafted nastily. Then of course, because I'm in Devon, I couldn't possibly have a recommended series of books without adding Jan Stewart, because Jan Stewart is a guy who used to write just in Devon dialect. Now I can't do Devon dialect as well as some, because I wasn't born in Devon, but one day, if you're lucky, you'll hear my daughter reading a section from this because she was born in Devon and it's hilarious. It is a superb book. Again, a series of short stories, all of them very, very funny and easily accessible. And then we have The Delight of Handley Cross or Mr Jorrocks Hunt. Wonderful, strange, strange book by R.S. Surtees. Uh, written, I think, in around 1840-1850. And I have to include this because I love the book. It's hilarious. It puts a different spin on a society that is long, long gone now. Um, and I also love it because it was recommended to me by Lord Bernard Wetherill because I was giving him some advice on the passage of the firearms bill, trying to get it toned down a bit. And uh, he used to live in a similar area to me, in Surrey, in other words. He used to be the MP... Uh, for the big town Croydon and um, so he called on me as the secretary of the local rifle club when he was looking at the passage of the bill through the House of Lords so I, I was very grateful to him for that and one last book which I've got to uh, put up mainly because my daughter loved this so much that she's just run upstairs and fetched it for me so I'll happily put this up The Raven's Head by Karen Maitland this is medieval-ish uh, it is historically accurate for the time in terms of the clothing, in terms of all that sort of stuff. But the main thing about Karen is she can bring up the superstition and the fears of the people better than anyone else I've ever read. I really enjoyed The Raven's Head. I can thoroughly recommend that to you too. So there you go. Are there other books? Yes. I've got Chaudelot de Laclo, Les Liaisons Dangereuses up there, which I would thoroughly recommend. Schindler's Ark is superb. Elmore Leonard, just about anything by Elmore Leonard is worth reading. I've got Get Shorty up there, a few other books. Um, Paul Johnston with all of his books, Quentin Jardine. But there's too many books, aren't there? Certainly there's too many to fit on all these bookshelves. Um, so all I can say is, I hope that's been of some use. I hope you may look up some of those books and try them and see what you think. Um, but... If you've got any comments on them, please put comments down at the bottom there. Uh, I'll happily read through any comments you put up, and I will reply as soon as I get a chance. Um, so comments, if you'd like to share this, if you'd like to subscribe to the YouTube videos, I'd be grateful. Um, but apart from all that, I've got to go, because now I've got my nice new Visconti pen, and I am going to be starting to use this next week to write my next book. So the next YouTube video I do, I, I do, next YouTube video I do will be about writing 
the first in a new series about the Crusades. I hope you enjoy that too. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care.